Hello everyone, how are you staying Nizari? Welcome to Newcastle Fans TV. So today we're talking about the idea that St James's Park may be closed for the rest of the season. Yep, you heard it we we could be playing our games behind closed doors now. Which is a real, real possible idea. Now, the Premier League put out a statement a day or two back, basically confirming that they want to finish the season, which is mint, which is fantastic. Look, in an ideal world, you want the crowd there, but if it means that we'll have to play behind closed doors, so be it. We've seen it with the Eredivisie, Liga, and the Belgian Pro League that all of those leagues have shut down. The likes of the Premier League, Bundesliga, Serie A, and La Liga want to resume. The big four. Funny enough. More on that at the moment, I just want to quickly touch upon our membership on YouTube. We don't really talk about much about it. There'll be a clip at the end of the video, so keep an eye out for that. I just want to personally thank a few members before we crack on, which is Alm Salma, uh, Jimmy Angel, J Doran, Nathan Carrick, Gaz Gaming UK, Terja Nixon, Mike Stowe. Brandon Skrenek and Jay in Atlanta. So thank you very much for being members. I hope you have been enjoying the exclusive stuff. Have a look at this. In an article which you can see on the Telegraph, it clearly states the Premier League season will be played behind closed doors at between 8 to 10 neutral venues with no home games for any clubs in a radical plan that has been agreed in an attempt to finish the season. The Telegraph understands that a strict set of criteria must now be signed off by the police at the government agencies. It will be used to select the stadia, which will all be Premier League grounds and it is crucial to football being played again. And you can see the four steps there, how easy it is for fans to gather and travel, how easy it is to prevent fans getting close to the stadium, obviously social distancing of course, the infection rate for COVID-19 in the area, and of course previous history when it comes to games being disrupted. So we could be playing our games in a neutral venue and fans aren't allowed in is probably what's going to happen. So what does it mean for everybody who has a season ticket first of all? Do the club refund them? because they've taken money. Yes, I know they've already taken next season's money with some people, but we have five or six home games left. What we're going to do with our money, are we going to get it back? Are we going to get, have a discount the next season? With new potentially ownership coming in, who knows what's going to happen? You would have thought the new owners would fix that problem straight away. But let's just say we didn't have that tape and when it didn't happen, are Newcastle going to keep that club and rip the fans off? It wouldn't surprise me massively. However, that's fraud because you've paid for games which you haven't been able to get to and what's going to happen with the FA Cup we've got tickets sitting there I'm sure you have sitting there what's going to happen with the FA Cup tie which was a home tie so we would have a slight advantage yes and our Manchester City another level didn't get me wrong but we've got 50,000 50, 49,000, two or 3,000 Manchester City fans in the ground. That's a big advantage for us, a smaller team. Granted, we know Manchester City should win the game. They've got bigger stars, blah, 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 blah. But that small advantage that we had at St. James Park, because the last two visits that they have, they've only picked up one point out of a possible two games. So that's that's disappointing. If we And if we do go to, let's just say, we do make it to the FA Cup final, I'm dreaming here, Anna, Anna, here is it on that. You're going to have knee crowds. I mean, wh when are you going to play that FA Cup semi-final or final? Are you going to wait until the start of the season? Or are you going to have it, do you know, like the charity game where you have them just before the start of the season? You've got to have the crowd there. You've got to have the crowd there for me. And if it means holding off and holding off, so be it. But I've seen speculation that the neutral, neutral venues could be in the Midlands. I've seen Old Trafford being touted, the North West. Look, and, and there's tests that the players have got to go through, where they've got to be checked. Ambulance, staff, coaching staff, broadcasters have all got to be COVID-19 checked before they can go in. I've seen reports that the players have all got to wear masks in training because we've seen a couple of clubs who are doing social distance training at the moment. When they come back to full training, they're going to be having to wear a, wearing a mask. I've seen reports that they've got to go at the stadiums wearing masks. It's it's just it's just a mess at the moment so there's three things to consider here so first of all health and safety of everybody if it means that we'll have to wait and wait and wait 
so be it. Saving lives is far, far more important than football. It's not wrong to admit you miss football. I'm missing it like crazy. I'm sure you are. But number two, look after your fans who have paid to games. What are you going to do with them? Are you going to reimburse them? Are you going to have them a discount? What about the fans who have paid for next season when we don't even know when next season will be? And thirdly, which is the least important out of three, it's to try and finish the season off. Let me know what you think in the comments. We'll get replying to them. As I mentioned earlier with the membership, if you want to join the membership, take a look at this. Here yeah, at Newcastle Fans TV have we got a treat for you. We have three membership programs ranging from bronze, silver and gold. The higher you go, the more access you get to behind the scenes videos and also videos across the internet which are trending. We also offer first exclusive look at all of our videos. There is posts. There is also exclusive to what we're up to and what we have planned in the coming days. So you find out before everybody else. There is also behind the scenes footage, which you can see here. Sam setting up, ready to interview Warren Barton and Craig Moore, making sure that his mic is set up and he has the two screens set up. And this is just some of the stuff that we do. There is so, so much more and plans coming to develop the membership behind the scenes. So thank you for our current members who've been there since the start. And this one about me is just thanking all the members supporting the channel during the COVID-19 which happened in the summer. Come over and have a look, come and join.